Uh, OK, what are we making today? Speaking right. of white. Yeah, so we've got a soup. So another soup. So this is the second soup in Soup Week, and we're doing parsnips. Yeah. So beautiful uh, winter vegetable. Uh, nice, sweet, sort of earthy taste to a mm -hmm. parsnip. And then we've got some beautiful flavours in there. Pancetta, yeah. nice bit of saltiness in there. Hazelnuts, a yes. little bit of truffle oil to make it extra special. Nice, we're going to add a little bit of wine there, or is that oil? Where? Uh, on the, in the shop oh, glass. No, this, no, this is truffle oil. Oh, truffle oil. Yeah, smell mm. that. Whoa. Oh, so tr okay. Truffles are a mushroom. Well, that's beautiful. Guy. Nice work. Mm. Thank you very much, Holly. Great to have you with us. We are here in the Becker Kitchen for our first soup week. Yesterday we had a beautiful pumpkin soup. Today, what are we doing? Right, we've got a parsnip soup. So in season now, a bit more of a winter vegetable, but we're going to spruce it up. We've got truffle mm. oil in there, Yum. hazelnuts, pancetta, loads Oof. of herbs. Oof. Gonna be awesome. Yeah, that's gonna be fantastic. Right, so what do we need to do first? I'm here to help. I've got a day off tomorrow, it's Anzac Day. So nice, you know, yeah. nice. All right, get some do you oil go in to the... Dawn Services? Have you ever been to one in New Zealand? No, I, I say should. every Maybe. year I'd really like to go, but it's just getting up in the morning. You can get it. It's well yeah, worth it. Get, well, yeah, I've got kids now, so oh, they can true. wake me up. <laughs> they, they'll wake you up. <laughs> yeah. You just go back to bed afterwards, you know, do your bit. Okay, nice. So we'll chop some onions. You what are we kids, doing? have you? No, I don't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not how it works? No. no. Okay. No. Once you're up, you're up. <laughs> right. Onions go in, a yep. little bit of oil, medium heat, a little bit of salt and pepper in there. Yep. And we're going to sweat those down. Okay, cool. Easy. Right. Easy. Going to get some herbs in there. So, big bunch of uh, thyme, beautiful thyme with root vegetables is really good. Bay leaves as well, these dried ones, mm -hmm. you can buy these in the supermarkets or if you've got a bay tree, use fresh ones or even, uh, you know, if you prune in the bay, bay tree, you know, prune it off and then just let them dry out and then you've got your own uh, bay leaves. Nice. There you go. I always find some random bay leaves in the back of the cupboard. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, you've always got them, haven't you? They're always Weirdly. there. So, right. are you tying them up? Nah. I had an elaborate knot and it just, just messed it up. Yeah, so basically you get a big bunch of them and just get some string, tie it up. Yes. And it will just keep them all together. So it will release all the flavour, but it will keep it all together. And when you come to blitz the soup, you can just pull it Take out. Take it out. Yeah. Great. So that's that. Right, parsnips. So I've got the parsnips there, so I've peeled them, topped and tailed them. And then we're just going to chop them up. So I try and get them sort of roughly the same sort of size. When you get to that side, you can quarter them and then do that. You know, it's all going to cook together. And we're going to blitz it again, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to blitz it, so I mean, you don't worry too much. Cool. Nice. Parsnip's very affordable, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's a good price at the moment. And it's a beautiful reg vegetable as well. It's like really earthy, um, but also um, sweet as well. You know, if you cook it, if you slowly cook it, you can bring all those flavours out. Right, so the parsnip's ready to go. I've got a potato in there as well, so that's just going to help thicken the soup a little bit. Good. Um, pancetta. Yeah. So. Just remember, so this is a cured, uh, a cured meat, so there is a bit of salt in there, there's salt and pepper in there. Um, so you just want to be careful with your seasoning, but we're just going to chop a bit of that up. We're going to get that in the soup to give us some flavour, and we're also going to save some, chop it up, and we're going to fry it for a little bit of a garnish after us to get that texture on top of the soup. Right, so that goes in there. Okay. I can see you looking at it, so we'll put more in. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah. And I've got some there to put on the top. Well, you know, if you wanted to keep this vegetarian, that's fine. You know, just take the um, just just take the pancetta out. That's fine. Great. You know, there's no issues with that. Right, parsnip's going to go in now, and it's always a good idea now. You know, before you put your stocks in, just really sort of cook it down a little bit. Okay. Get all those flavours going. You don't want to get any colour on this though. That's okay. the important thing. But just you know, get it cooking, and then we'll pop our stocks on. Okay, great. Right. right. Now, while you're chopping that potato, quick yeah. question about soup. What's the best way to freeze it? Can you freeze any soup? Yeah, I can freeze anything, just chuck it in the freezer. Really? OK, so it's <laughs> no, no, no but... preparation involved, just on the freezer. No, I mean, if you're going to make soup, it's a good idea, like, if you're going to do something, you know, do do a double batch, yeah. you know, eat it, eat it for your dinner, eat it for the um, lunch the next day, and then you're pretty sick of it. So just, you know, cool it down. It's always a good idea to cool it down first before you put it in the bags. OK. You know, stand it up in a little container, snap lock bags, mm -hmm. put it in there, seal it, mm. and then uh, freeze it standing up. OK. But if you wedge a few in a container so they're all sort of, like, um, Standing up, freeze them, and then you can lay them flat and pack them down. You got all the tabs. Oh, I know. I know. I knew it was worth asking that random question. <laughs> What's the best way to freeze something in a freezer? <laughs> and a bag? <laughs> uh, okay, sweet. Well, I'll tell you what, we will come back very soon and see the next steps to that because I can smell a little bit of garlic. We'll find out what Mark is doing. We are back in the Beko kitchen to finish off this parsnip soup. Things are smelling divine here. It's a really good mix. 
and that's what you can see it cooking down and that's what you want to be able to smell all mm. the ingredients coming out you know if it smells good now it's going to taste great later okay cool so i'm going to pop a little bit of garlic in there okay so just so roughly chopped putting everything in here yeah, aren't we yeah that cool. goes down keep on cooking it a little bit more okay and then we're going to get to a stage where uh, we want to add the stock. So I've got a chicken stock here, but if you wanted to keep it vegetarian, use a vegetable stock there. Easy. Or even, even simpler, you know, put some water in it. Okay, cool. You know, you can do the water in even those uh, stock cube powders, you know, if you haven't got that. Nice. And then what we're going to do, we're going to pop that in, and then we want to bring that to the boil again, turn it down, simmer it, and we want to cook all the parsnips now, okay? So we want to cook it for about 20, 25 minutes. Okay. Uh, in that time, all the parsnips um, are going to go soft, all the flavors are going to come out, we're going to reduce that stock a little bit, and then I've got a touch of cream here. So there's not that much cream, but we're going to add that in about the last five minutes. Okay. Okay? Now I'm just worried, do we forget to put the potatoes in, or what? No, we're just bringing it to the boil. Okay, we're bringing it to the boil. So when it's come to the boil, yes, we... Thank you. <laughs> if by magic, we put the potatoes in. Right, so imagine it's boiled, you've reduced it down a bit, then you put the potatoes in. Because it's a parsnip soup, so I want it to take the parsnip first, and we're using the potatoes just as a thickener. Okay, good. Mm. Okay, well, you know what you're and doing, then... don't you? <laughs> Hopefully. <Yes. laughs> and then we've got a little bit of truffle oil as well, right? So yeah. we smelt that before. Yeah, it's so good. So this is this, this is a great mm. thing. We love using this in the restaurant. So, so it's good. very, very expensive, but it is great to have a little bottle in the cupboard, and you can just, you know, finish it with soups or put it on steaks. So you, you do anything you want. You only need a little bit, you know, because it's so pungent. But the thing is with truffle oil, if you heat it too much, you're going to lose that flavour. Okay. So we are going to add a little bit into the soup, but after we put the cream in right near the end, and it will just lift up all that flavour. And then when we when we blend it, we pass it, and just before we serve it as well, a little drizzle on top of the soup, and it's absolutely mm. fantastic because all those aromas come out. Brilliant. We've got a pan on here. Yes, what are we so going to do here? What we're going to do? Hazelnuts, I guess. Yeah, we're going to do the pancetta. So nice, nice sort of chunks, rough chunks. And then, it's quite nice as well, you know, even just do it in a dry pan, you know, you've got that nice little bit of fat, and you can just do it over a medium heat, and it will just sort of, yeah. it'll release some of that fat, and it'll go nice and crispy. So a garnish is really important, isn't it? Because I noticed yesterday with your pumpkin soup, that, that little bit of garnish you put on the top made a huge difference. Not oh, that it was bad or anything, but, no. you know, <laughs> it just took it to a next level, and the whole crew and everyone who ate it loved it. Yeah, but that's it. It's, it gives you texture, it gives you extra flavour, it just lifts the whole soup, and it makes it a bit more interesting as well, you know? So always right. think about that. Okay, cool. All right, and then, um, you know, we've got some hazelnuts here. So, a couple of ways you can do these. If you've got them already peeled, you know, you can just, you can throw them in there as well, get a little bit more colour on them, you know, okay. bits of colour will bring out the flavour in it. And then all you want to do then is just, uh, you know, just lightly crush it with the back of a pan, so you get these nice chunks as well. Or leave them whole if you want, you know, but it's nice just to knock them with the back, back of the pan to get these little uh, bits. And um, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. I think that's, that's pretty much it. Or nice. if you want to peel um, hazelnuts, you can pop, yeah. them in, pop them on a tray if they've got all the skins on. Pop it into a hot oven for about sort of six to eight minutes. Bring them out, tip them in a towel, wrap them up like a Christmas present. Yes. And then just sort of roll them on the bench, and then all the uh, all the shelves will come off. All nice. Peel. Good tip. Yeah. This is That's smelling it. incredible. I can't wait to tuck into it, which we will do very soon. And of course, you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Look at this soup. We've got some truffle oil on the top. It's nice and thick, sweet, earthy, and we're garnishing with those hazelnuts and pancetta. Look at you that. are good. <gasps> that looks amazing. Yeah. Oh,